Let's take a look at replacing the cam sensor on this Dodge Intrepid with a 2.7 liter engine. Now you can see it's located on the driver's side cylinder head, kind of towards the top here. See our coolant temp sensor, our oil fill cap. Now here's where our sensor is located down below that. Now quite often there's a red locking tab in here. This one is missing. Somebody's probably been in here at some point before. So if you have that, you need to use a little pick to pop that out of the way. Otherwise, I'm going to reach in, press on the tab on the electrical connector, and slide that back out of the way. Now you'll also see part of the engine harness was held up on the stud here of the bolt holding the sensor. So we're going to set that out of the way for right now, but we need to make sure to put that back in place when the job is done. Now I'll take my ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket. Now quite often when these sensors go bad, it could end up in a, first off, a trouble code, but also might be an extended crank no start. The vehicle might have to crank up to 15 seconds before the vehicle actually fires up and starts running. So now I've got the bolt out of the way, I'm going to grab the sensor and just kind of rotate it by finger here. You'll see that there's the O-ring here in place and there's quite a bit of sensor behind that. So we need to make sure there's not a carbon buildup on that. And get it loose. So as I do a little bit of rotating here, now I'm going to start prying and pulling out on it. Work it back and forth and eventually pop it out of the hole here. So I'll take some of the oil off the old sensor, lubricate the o-rings on my new one, and bring it lined up straight here. And then I will twist and work it into place. Okay, so once I've got the sensor installed here, I need to line it up and I'm going to take the bolt and thread it in by hand. Now I'll run it in by hand as far as I can here, making sure I'm not pinching off our wire harness or anything. I'll run in, then I will take my socket and ratchet. And we will tighten this up, locking it in place. Now I'm going to make sure to reinstall my wire harness here. I don't want that falling down and rubbing on the uh, accessory drive belt. Once that's in place, I can now take my electrical connector, slide it into place, make sure it's locked on there good. And if I had one of the locking tabs, I would lock it down in place there. But we've just gone ahead and replaced the cam sensor on this 2.7 liter Dodge Intrepid.